guys, welcome back to JT Scars of Pies. And today's segment is the door, the door, the cooking segment. The, this pick of food is biscuits and gravy. It's one of my favorite foods. The, the trick to making delicious sausage gravy is to slowly brown your meat. My grandpa always said that you wanted to plenty of grease and you as you can see our sausage is very brown and nice. Then you want to crumble it up. Involves your flour to completely absorb, completely absorb the flavor from your grease. So you start by adding a cup of flour. I'm going to add it in slowly. Next, you're going to stir it in and make sure that uh, all the flour is absorbed into the grease. So stir slowly so you don't flip your meat out of the pan and make sure that you hold on to the, uh, the pan. As you can see, the, the flour is really not really melting because it's absorbing all the grease and I have to stir it very neatly. This is taking a while. The handle's a little hot, so I'm having this to hold this to hold it because it's very hot. Hotty, hot, hot. We need to add a little bit more flour. Yes, ma'am. We mom. do that slowly. That's perfect. Dump that in. Dump it in. Okay, let's see what we have next. You want to kind of move it around so that you're making sure that you're getting every last bit of that grease sucked up by the flour. And we can add a little bit more flour because I see sanding grease over here. A little bit more than that, J JT. There you go. Dump that in. Perfect. Let's see. Make sure you hold on to your pan. Last thing you want is for that sucker to fly on the floor. So now we're starting to look like our sausage is absorbing all the flour. I forgot to tell you this, but my mom was, uh, was is going to help me with a little part of this. Okay. But mostly I do have the work. It's just tiring. That's looking pretty good. You could probably add just a little bit more of a sprinkling of flour if you wanted. So let's just go there. Stir that up really well. Let me hold the pan for you. Thank you, You Mom. stir it up. Edge to edge. You don't want to see any white showing at all. A lot of times when you get sausage and gravy, it, it tastes really bland, kind of tastes like flour, and that's because uh, most people are always in a rush cooking. We want everything really fast, so they don't give the uh, grease time to absorb into that flour and for it to pick up the flavor of the, 
of the sausage. Do you see any wet parts, Mom? Nope. Smash it all down. We'll cover it with the lid. Smash, smash, smash. And uh, this is a perfect time while this absorbs the flavor to uh, get the biscuits going. Yeah. I know this the. Fun is, um, opening it. So you have to peel it. And. How do you do it? Like, bagel? You peel, you peel the whole label off. Yeah. I'll take that for you. And then you're going to bang it on the side of the counter so the can explodes. Ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. I'll do your first one. Oh, look. You didn't get the whole thing. Yeah. Take this here. See where it shows you with the arrows? Take this here, see where it shows you with the arrows, and peel this back. There you go. Now you're getting to the brown part of the can. And now it's going to pop up. And I'll take the trash for you. And kind of right in the center of that brown, whack it on the counter. Whack it on the counter, right in the center. And boom! Now you just twist it open. Twist it and make sure your biscuits are over the pan should any of them fall. You don't want them hitting the ground. No, you don't. Ask your food will be ruined. Right. And nobody wants that. No. Nobody wants to waste all this precious time to just lose all hey, You can just food. try to pull out your biscuits now. You don't need to pull all the aluminum away. Uh, yeah. They're already individually ready to go. Except for these guys. Sorry that it's taken so long to get just all these icky and sticky okay. things. I have to place them and go see. Because we feed no less than eight people at night we kind of need to use two biscuits we also use two pounds of sausage and we'll probably use close to about half a gallon of milk so once again you peel off the paper then you peel off the white some biscuits it, the white and the paper come off together these are making us do it in in two steps but that's okay. More unwrapping. Makes it feel like Christmas. Right, Jay? JT? Yep. Sure. All right. And whack that on the counter. And, uh, Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like cooking. And uh, comment below if you've ever been able to pop open a can of biscuits. Well, that was a big chunk. Yeah. Those are coming out fast. Never like freedom! I got your trash now start at the other end of your pan and start spreading those biscuits out and we'll see how much room we have on there. Have, Mom, will I have to like squeeze a little bit? You probably will. They say that you want to have them two inches apart, but we never get to cook ours two inches apart. No, it doesn't seem like that. Now... The cooking directions say that the oven should be preheated at 350. We started ours out a little high at 375 so that when we open the oven, we aren't losing a ton of heat. So we'll knock that down. Jeffrey's putting the finishing touches on getting all the biscuits on the pan. And there we go. And let's try and... Make for just a little bit of spacing between these. Just means our biscuits grow together. Yeah. And 
Jeffrey, if you will open up the oven. Let me stick the, the biscuits in. Be careful, Mom. We don't All want right. to get burnt. No, we don't want to get it burnt. Close that, and now we get back to the gravy. So let's take off our pan. Lid. Our Wait. lid, yeah. Take off our lid. That's looking good. Let me move all this stuff out of your way. Well, and the lid will look a little different, but that's okay. Next, you add okay. in the milk. A so, little bit of milk. A little bit of milk at a time. And we're going to start with that. And then we stir. So, get to stirring, Jeffrey. I know Remember, a lot of you guys like to stir, but... Man, I like to stir a lot. I might even like to stir even more than you guys. Yeah, that Make milk. Make sure that you go slow so that you aren't sloshing. That milk kind of looks like eggnog. <laughs> eggnog is a tradition on Christmas that people drink. The pan. So when you're stirring, you want to make sure that you're kind of flipping that. You want to get to the bottom and pull it back. And as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up. We barely have any milk left. So before it gets all the way, we're going to add more milk. And really, gravy is just a balance of milk, flour, grease, and a whole lot of stirring. So this meal is right up Jeffrey's alley because he sure does like stirring things. And I like a lot of those things. And I like sticky stuff like those stuff. Why mm, I can have the stuff. Right. So with gravy, you want to make sure that you're pulling in the sides, getting the bottom. And kind of smash it in so you make sure that you're squeezing that flour back out of that gravy because, or out of the sausage because it really absorbs it in there. And you kind of want to get all that delicious flavor mixed up. So we've got a good consistency. We're going to crank our heat back up to about four and a half. Yay! Now. Nice. And then we forgot to set our timer for our biscuits. That's a biggie. It said somewhere between 10, oh, 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 10 and 15 minutes. So we are going to set our timer for 10 minutes. Three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Perfect. We kind of lost our fork in the gravy, so that's a little hot. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get ourselves another one. Um, because you can never have enough stirring. Okay, and just get to stirring. Very slowly, make sure that you're touching the bottom and the sides. That way you know if it's starting to clump or not, and if you need to add more milk, or if you're doing good. As the heat starts to come back, it will begin to thicken that gravy really fast. So, you want to keep your milk on hand, um, so that you're, you're quick to add it in should you need. Last thing you want to do is have to run to the refrigerator again now. We don't want to, like, scrape the bottom of the pan. It's more of a, a gentle kind of almost overlapping, like you would, uh, almost like you would beat eggs, right? You're just kind of stirring it up. Now... A lot of times at this point, we'll, uh, we'll have a little taste test to see if we need to add a dash of salt or 
maybe a little more pepper because we we do pre-season as we're browning the meat um, but you're not tasting it at that point so just like we don't like double dippers with vegetables into our dipping sauce or our chips you never want to taste with what you're stirring and you can only use uh, whatever you're tasting with one time and then it goes in the sink so Jeffrey you want to get a little scoop out and see what the gravy is starting to taste like and if we need more salt or pepper more salt and pepper it's mm. like a little plain a little more salt and pepper okay let's uh so let's just put this somewhere else Give it to me, please. And it goes in the sink. And, oh, I'm having trouble with the camera here. Cool. Sorry, guys. Add just a little bit of pepper. Yeah, they got in my hand. Stir that up. I know, Mama. It's not like you, it's my first time cooking. No, no, you've been a helper in the kitchen before. Yes, I have. I cooked many times before I became a vlogger. Okay, give me the fork and grab the uh, the pink salt up there, right there. Uh, this. Yep. Oh. And shake a little bit, grind a little bit of salt into our gravy. Oh. Is that good, Mom? I, maybe a little bit more. I didn't taste it, so. Um, I think, yeah, that's good. Okay. It's starting to thicken up nicely. May I start the rest of it? You may. Don't forget to go around like that. Yes, Mom. And around like that, okay? And then the bottom. We're going to add just a little bit more milk because... She is starting to thicken up a little bit again, and we want lots of gravy. We, like I said, we have a big family, so we and have to make sure that. And a lot of family likes gravy. That's right. It's one of the favorite meals around here: sausage, biscuits, and gravy. Holy! It's done hard. We start teaching the kids how to make it at about seven years old. So. Um. Eight, and I'm about to turn nine. Yeah, you turn nine here in just about a month. And I hope I can do a vlog about it. Yeah. Vlog your birthday party? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't even decided what we're going to do yet. Maybe go to, like, someplace cool. Because my birthday's in the spring. We can go lot, to a lot of different places, but pools don't start until it's starting to get a little warmer than spring. Yeah, outside pools. If we want to swim before, we've got to... Go to a hotel. Yeah, got to go to a hotel. But hotels are fun, right? You're going to watch TV without paying? <laughs> you do get a lot of different shows. They have cable and yeah. we don't have cable. And it smells better. A lot better. <laughs> you like the smell of the, the bleach water for the Yeah, I love swimming the swimming pool. Of it. You love to swim, don't you? Yeah. I wish it was summertime. Oh. Okay. How much time do we have on those biscuits? What does um, it say? Make sure you put the fork over there on the holder so that we don't lose it in the gravy. It, you should be able to just press cook time and it should show you what how much time is left. Three, three minutes. minutes. Wow. All right. It's been a long time. About like Five hundred and eighty seconds. <laughs> now remember.
remember, you make sure you put that fork against the side and go all the way around. Whee! It's a roller coaster and it's going wee wee wee. And then you turn your fork sideways and you flip the bottom like you're whisking eggs. Remember, we're not stirring straight up and down because that doesn't do a lot for us. We're, okay, we're stirring like this, where we're getting the bottom of the pan, bringing that, and literally, literally, kind of whisking and stirring the gravy. My See how you, and she is just waiting to thicken up a little bit more. I don't think we're gonna. And then we really can eat our yum yums. We can eat our yum yums. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's put it on the milk. Yeah, make sure she's fully on the burner. That matters. Yes, it does. I don't want her to just be like not cooking anymore now, do you? No, 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 no. Most you would not have very warm. It would be very cold. It might be actually disgusting. So, what what's your favorite part of making sausage biscuits and gravy, Jeffrey? Is it the the like the stirring and <coughs> the eating and the banging <laughs> the banging of the biscuits? Yeah, that is always fun, isn't it? And the stickiness. That's fun. Very, very fun. Okay, guys? I like sticky stuff. Oh, our gravy's doing good. Let's, uh, let's give it another little taste here to see if we need to add any more pepper or salt. Yes, Mom? Grab yourself. Like a spoon? Yeah, a spoon. One of the throwaway spoons is good. I'm like, oh, this is a good one. I don't care if it's a baby spoon. Perfect. Get yourself a taste. Pull it back. Pull it back. Give me the spoon. Hmm. Don't know. Should we call in another sampler to get their opinion? Let's see, who do we have out in the other room flipping on the light on and off waiting for a turn? No. Michael, come in and sample the gravy and tell us if you think we need uh, more salt or pepper or how it's coming along, please. Here's your taste. This is, this is Michael. My big brother, he's been on my YouTube channel before. Yep, he helped with an art project. Uh, 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 give me the spoon, don't you dare double dip. No, Michael has a bad habit of mm. wanting to eat more than just one little taste. Yeah, it's like um, a, little a little more salt. Go ahead and grab the salt shaker and add a little more salt. So you thought the pepper was good? Mm -hmm. the pepper was and that means okay. the biscuits are done. The spice is good. All right. So everybody from there can kind of season their plate themselves. Next thing we want to do is turn down the heat on that and we will check the biscuits and they need about, they need about, no, please, the biscuits need about mm, another minute and a half. Let's close this, add two minutes to the timer, just the timer. Let's hit stop on that, two minutes on the timer go and the oven automatically turned off and the reason we kind of let that happen with the timer is um, the oven's pretty much at 350 we're just trying to brown off the last of the biscuits so that they're perfect and golden um, no point in keeping the oven going because it's already where it needs to be and it's just about at its end of cooking, so it saves a little energy and definitely helps you keep from burning your stuff. Um, Do you think it's time to take a test? 
you want to take one final t taste, Jeffrey? Yes. And yes. See? Yes. All right. Both of you. Here's your spoons. Get one last little taste. Good. Mm-hmm. Hot but good. All right. We've got the gravy off now. Let's get our milk put up. Put our milk away. Jeffrey? Jeffrey, put our milk away. Oh, get out here, Mama. And uh, remember, if you like the cooking show, next we'll be doing meatloaf, which is fun, but uh, a little messy. So uh, make sure you uh, ring the bell. Hit subscribe so that you catch our next cooking show. And give us a thumbs up if you liked. Please comment below what your favorite meal is. Maybe we'll add that into rotation. Um, do you want to sign off, Jeffrey, before you walk away? Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you think what food I should do next. Bye-bye! Just in time too.